Hi guys, my name is Kajendra D. Ambi, or Kajo Ambi. So today we are going to look into the look into our next chapter in RH033 Red Hat Linux Essentials and uh, that is browsing the file system. Let's say what is it? So unit 4 browsing the file system, <coughs> understanding the locations of important directories on the Red Hat Enterprise Linux system and navigating them from the command line and using the graphical Nautilus browser. So let's try it. So this is our VMware machine. So I have uh, made a small, I've tried to make a small PPT here. Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to say a slideshow here. So unit 4 browsing the file system RH033 Red Hat Linux Essentials. Okay, so slash the root file system is disk based and it is very top of the Linux file hierarchy system. You have like a, the Linux for and our file system is like a, you know, a big tree, a big tree and uh, only it's inverted, right? Inverted means when you invert a tree, what happens? All the branches come at the bottom and the root will be at the top, right? The same way here, the root that you see here is at the top, right? So, and it's very top of the Linux file hierarchy system, FHS file hierarchy system. What is slash bin, also known as, so under root you have slash bin, slash library and lot of, lot of other things. So let's look into that. So I'm going to open a console here or a terminal. I'm going to open a tab here. I'm going to say su dash, I'm going to put password, I'm going to first as we all know, I always do this. So maybe I hope this is enough. Alright, and so okay. And as I said, since it's wide screen, it's you're gonna watch it in high definition. And now it's uh, really wide, it's going to hit your eyes, so I'm going to say a transparent background. I'm going to say background image. Okay. Hmm. Is that okay? I'm sorry, I have only these. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say gender here. I'm gonna say colors. I'm gonna I can go ahead and I want to replace them if I want. White and black instead of I can say black and white. Or uh, okay, let's say white and black. And I didn't do that, right? Okay, so this is good, right? So now you can see it and it's time to hit your eyes or something. So I'm going to say CD root. So at the very top, I'm going to do ls. So we have all these files. So let's do zoom in again so that when they become a little more bigger. Okay. So as you can see, we have been has been device directory, home directory, last found them, miscellaneous, net, proc, processes, has been, SRV, TFTP boot, user, USR, and uh, boot, Etsy, or etc., LIB, library, media, MNT, OPT, RWOT, root, SLNX, SIS, TMP, or temporary, we are a variable. So these are all under root. So inside that we have again subdirectories. So we're going to look into them later. Let's go back to our slideshow. <coughs> Alright, so what is slash pin? Also known as binary directory contains executable commands. And the, we have then we have LIB, aka library directory, is a 
library containing the essential static data files for programs. What does that mean? So let's look into that then. So we're going to first go ahead and our CD to our change directory to bin and I'm going to do ls. So what do we have here? We have a lot of these things and what are these? Okay. I'm going to say if you want to know what are they, I'm going to say file. I'm going to choose cat. All right there we have cat here. Okay. cat elf32 bit lsp executable so it's an executable command right it's an executable and intel 80386 version 1 for GNU Linux 2.6.9 dynamically linked uses shared libraries for GNU Linux 2.6.9 stripped so that as you can see all you know these files okay these are green files that you see there they're color coded. So blue is for directories, green is for commands, executables. And this color is for linked commands. So these are linked files. Okay? So please do remember them. So I'm gonna say studies. So I'm gonna go ahead go to a directory above me. CD data takes me to the directory above my present working directory. So that is root. I'm going to say ls now. Uh, and now we have to look into cd slash lib library. I'm going to do ls. What is library? <coughs> well, I'm going to say okay. Oh, well, we'll do that later. So, library, as you can see, we have, you, it's a library of files. All right. Let's say uh, there is a program. Okay, uh, called security programs. So, right, you have security programs, and inside that, if you go into security directory, you have all the library, all the files used by security programs. Right, so you have modules here, and these are uh, again, you know, all the other files are uh, used by various programs. So, this is a library where all the programs keep their files and they know where they have kept their files. And whenever they want to run, they will look into this directory, you know, uh, into for their resources to know uh, to do whatever they are supposed to do or whatever they are told to do. So let's move on to the next one. And now we have uh, sbin slash sbin, aka system binary directory. That means it holds static data, of course. Slash sbin contains most of the crucial system commands needed at system boot up and also the system administration commands, which are meant to be executed by only super users. Our system administration administrators are root. Slash, is, uh, slash sbin is not included in the regular user search path. That makes sense. You don't want to give administrative rights to all the regular users. so. For all the regular users, it's bin. Okay, slash bin is assigned here, as you can see, slash bin here. Okay, and for administrators, uh, slash s bin is assigned to their path. Or whenever they run command, terminal is going to look into s bin, and if it is there, it will execute them. So root can run commands from bin as well as s bin. Whereas users can usually run commands from bin. We will look into you know those details again in the coming series. So we're gonna go ahead now and look into S bin. Right. So what I did here is CD dot dot it took me to a directory above me and I include and then say forward slash yes bin so combine two commands here so or else let me do a let's see here so I wanna just like you know go like too fast or something so in yes bin now we have a lot of more commands which are not seen in yes bin I mean bin and you have all the Buddha files and so all, not all the Buddha files, uh, yes, but most of the 